Hi everybody, it's new product time and in this case it's the Leaven Hook or Leaven Hook Nitro ED 10x42 binoculars. 10x42 ED glass delivered to your door in the UK for £179. Not 279 or 379 179 with a lifetime guarantee. And so surely at that price they are cutting corners on the field of view. These have a field of view of 7 degrees or 122 at 1000, so they are certainly not cutting corners. So, as with some binoculars, they're going to cut corners on the, the apparent field of view. Wrong. These, I would estimate, around about 60 to 62 degrees, so they are well up with much higher cost optics. So even though they are quoted as fully multi-coated ED glass, you, you are going to lose a bit of your image quality, right? wrong. These are, as you can imagine, I've looked through many, many binoculars. I'm not even going to guesstimate a count. And it takes a lot for me to look through a set for the first time and say, well, this is better than expected. I was looking at my usual treetops, heavily backlit, at a little spot on the top of them with these binoculars. And I could see, in all its glory, a little green fringe. Not just that it was green, all the different shades of green and all other markings. He heavily backlit and you'd, you would have thought in that price range, okay the chromatic aberration it's it's going to be not as good as the ED glass would suggest for 179, right? Wrong. In the centre there was virtually no chromatic aberration whatsoever. It's It's difficult to know how they've managed to get such a high spec package for 179. So delightful colours and contrast, sharpness. Y yes there is some chromatic aberration as you go away from the centre but you get that with a lot of ED binoculars costing much much more than these. And so in order to give what could almost be described as a picture window wide field of view from a set of 10 times 42 surely you're going to get a lot more distortion towards the edges, aren't you, right? Wrong. Looking at the straight edges, I can see virtually zero pin cushion distortion. And this is for 179. You know, what, I just, what is going on here? You, you might say I'm being biased, but as you know, uh, all my subscribers, I'm honest. If there, if there are little minor gripes, I'll point them out. But I'm really struggling to find anything wrong with these. Uh, maybe the eye cups come out just a little bit too far. I find them, uh, for my personal use, without glasses on, uh, 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 two clicks out or one click in, whichever way you look at it. And with them fully in, there is probably just enough for spectacle wearers. But, but it, believe me, it is on the limit. And so, optics-wise, and they really feel nice. If you pick these up and you you'll get a shot, you'd. Uh, you, you, uh, how well these seem put together and that you get a, a very a, a nice padded strap uh, a, a, a nylon, nylon case but very nice quality uh, the sort of case you would expect to pay uh, to have with a binocular in this price range the the way around 600 and, uh, well just under 700 grams with, with my um, sort of accurate kitchen scales so they are, they are quite lightweight very very smooth focuser and, uh, and talk, talking of the focus it, this is probably where the, they're keeping the price down a little bit uh, your, your close focus will be around about three and a half to four meters so be aware of that if you like to looking at if you like looking at bugs and butterflies etc uh, but for general use that wide field of view that bright sharp uh, view with, with very minimal chromatic aberration for a binocular in this price range it's difficult to pick a fault yeah so okay so coming on to the chassis or chassis chassis or the uh, or, or the body itself okay at this price it's not going to be magnesium alloy it's not going to be polycarbonate and this is uh, ABS plastic. Now, before you all go running to the hills screaming plastic, cheap, nasty, when you pick them up, and I don't tell you that, you wouldn't know. But also, did you know that your, your 
many of the power tools that you may have at home at the moment to keep your hands protected from those those moving parts and those electricals inside there's a very good chance that power drill of yours has an outer shell made of ABS plastic so I'll leave that there but and you judge for yourself you would want something very strong protecting your hands from the inner electric in in inner put me teeth back in electrics of that uh, power power tool whatever you're using so don't let that put you off that that has obviously helped keep the cost down but if the most important thing to you is cost handling and fantastic optics then there's not really much out there in this price range. Rather interestingly, you will notice a, a bit of a, a red tint there to the lenses, and you get that up either side. For whatever reason, the eight times, which I'll probably do a review of uh, very shortly, unless they sell out, because I don't have many of these in, that they have a, a green tint. So that's a quick look at the Heli uh, Helios, oh dear, uh, Leave and Hook Nitro ED 10x42 binoculars, available to purchase in the link in the description below, if there's any left. Uh, as always thank you very much for watching and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and so thank you again and I shall see you next time